I think you can go near the shadow of the tower and you can hit it. Here? Here? No, 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 no. A bit, a bit, a bit. Out there, there. Okay, I hit the sun. More, move more, 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 move more. More, more. At the end of the sh Yeah, yeah, you hit it. So I, I now I hit it? Yeah. Okay, it's actually even more than that. Even more than that. Oh, so it's close. <laughs> Oh. <laughs> you have no mana. I think this doesn't hit. All right, never mind. Oh. <laughs> okay, now we're out of the range. So that's what yeah. I mean. Like here. Like she. Okay, you missed the opening. Oh, okay. No, 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 no. Click here. You see. Because the faster yeah. you use the first one, the faster the next one comes. What's going on, guys? Besides, here in today's video, we're going to learn how to play AD carry. Specifically, in this session, you're going to have focus on the lane phase, decision making, and macro control. So, if you're in need AD carry main and you want to learn, this video is for you. It touches a lot of aspects that you have to actually apply in your games if you're below master tier. So, if you really want to learn, make sure you watch this until the end. Make sure you like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell. If you play AD carry and you really want to learn AD carry, this is a channel for you. And if you haven't done or haven't checked out my coaching session yet, check out the coaching session in the description if you're serious about winning and climbing in solo queue enjoy yeah then you have the boots you recall and you look at the wave you look at the next wave to see what kind of wave it is you see that the wave is relatively far from them you see that they are not committed on pushing so you actually choose to recall right here very nice very very nice uh, i like that you're looking at the next wave i like that you are yeah. seeing that you have the uh, so you're looking at one the type of the wave it is, it is not a cannon, but it's fine. Two, you're looking at the position of the next wave, which will allow you to think if I have enough time to come back to the laning phase. In this case, you do, especially because they are very, they're not committed. Maybe they are wording right now. So you yeah. just get swiftness. Very nice. Very, very nice. No pink word, which is good in this case. And they actually Usually just Usually if I get pushed, I do not buy pink word. Very good, very good, very good. I think as an AD carry, you should not buy more than two pink words because it, or if you buy them, you should place them really safe. Yeah. Because cool. gold is really important. Yeah, definitely. If you're ahead, you can buy more and especially yeah. against Twitch, Evelyn and stuff like that. But in general, you can avoid buying them. Okay, so Evelyn, I perma bun, so. <laughs> okay, it's interesting how you play here. Because they push. But they can't actually dive you right here because you're full HP and you have barrier. So how many tank tower shots can the brand tank? And how much damage can the Kaisa do? Because we're talking about level 5 Kaisa. You know, she yeah. can proc passive one time, but that's like your barrier. And then what about your full HP? Because brand doesn't do so much damage right now. So you should actually be a lot more confident here. Like you should be right I here. Did not know. I did not know about the Ignite. If he has it, I think he, he kills me. Ignite. Okay, so you're thinking that how much damage does Ignite do? I think 200 damage here. Okay, let's see. Okay, I'm level 6 and it does 170, right? So Close. it does 150 <laughs> uh, yeah. damage. So it's not really that OP and you have the barrier. So here you can definitely act more confident because they can't afford diving. Because now, do you if actually... If I had flesh, I would yeah. have be more confident. Because look at this, you actually let them to get close to you. Like now if I'm brand, I'm so happy. But imagine you are now here and they would probably just panic and throw, throw abilities at you. But because you let them should so I much space, them? Uh, you can uh, actually... Should I have hit them or hit the wave here? Yeah, you can just hit the wave. You don't need to touch them because you don't want to go here to hit them or go here. Just stay here really behind of the tower. Hit the wave for fleet yeah. footwork. And then you just play from there. You have barrier because look how this looks like. This is like you gave them so much space and now they can easily hit the Q. Nice dodge. And look how this dive looks. This looks grief. Yeah. And he didn't use anything. Yeah. <laughs> right? You were so scared. Look at this. Like if they commit. I, think I was also scared of Kazix because we did not see him yet. Mm. I assumed that uh, he is. Uh, yeah, I miss every shot. Almost. <laughs> no worries. No worries. Uh, since my Graves is top uh, and he take the he took the void grabs, I assumed that Kazix is uh, bot lane. Okay. All right. And you should at least before the dive, if that's what you think. Okay, you don't have a word to drop it over the wall and you have the river word. The thing is, if you watch the river right here, you have a word here, you have a word here. It's like, where is he going to sneak? Okay, sure, he can do this, but it's yeah, yeah, yeah. pretty yeah. unlikely. 
Oh, okay. we actually see him on top. Okay, let's see. So we didn't know the limits here. I'm not concerned with this. The positioning in the lane phase I'm more concerned with. And that thing, when you tunnel vision, you definitely need to play some more range yeah. support. That is a red flag. And then here, you Q, you ult. No problem. We're going to learn how to ulti. And then here, you try to get the brand. No worries. And then here, look at these minions. How many auto attacks this minion needs to be set up? Uh, no, nothing. N nothing, exactly. Yeah. Right? So what you should do here, you should let the tower hit it twice. And then if you want to Q after, you can. But look what you did. Because yeah. that Q would be boom, <laughs> boom, and either boom or boom. Yeah, yeah. Right? Super important. Super, super important. I have another game where I play the poke uh, better. I was the poke matchup and they were the all-in matchup. I think it's the Varus Lux one we have in my playlist. Perfect. I think I played that almost flawless. Should we go through this one mid-game a bit or what should we... What do you think? No, is... no, 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 this one, not this one. Okay. Uh, this one was... I. It was really bad for me. So this one, yeah, it helped me a lot through the leaning phase. I learned a lot from uh, from uh, studying this with you. Okay, do you think we should move on to the next one or should we do... Yeah. Okay. We should move to the next one Just because I got a lot of information. <laughs> this one right here, after you kill the guy, you don't know where his Kha'Zix, your jungle is bought. This is uh, definitely super greedy, as you can see. He's yeah. very greedy. You're thinking about you killing her, which is fine, but it's like you're super overextended. And after you push this, you should take no risk. You should take no risk because there is no reason for you to pressure nothing. Like you're going to maybe get a kill yeah. here, but the chances of you dying is like if he comes with Kazi, you always die no matter what. If you pressure yeah. while she's like if you're half HP and you have more mana, that's fine. Because you have enough resources, you have enough HP. If Kazi comes, you cannot play. Usually the more deaths I have, the more risks I take. I see. I see, I see, I see. Yeah, because you're never going to come back in the game like this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I assume the only way to come back is either force a fight or... Uh, I mean, we're losing anyway, so we have to do something. Yeah, Playing well... safety is not an option. Yeah, the thing is, the Kai'Sa has no kills and you're 0-2 and you have farm, so you're not actually out of the game. If you're 0-4, I would agree with you, yes. <laughs> or 0-3, but yeah. that's, 0 2 is a, a weird score because you're not completely out of the game, but you're not carrying. This is why I would still yeah. not actually go for that playstyle of forcing. For now. Like here, just recall after the double. You didn't kill her, yeah, just recall. Yeah, yeah. And you play from there. Huge mistake. Yeah, we just took the risk. And this is even... This is a huge mistake. Recall, recall, recall. You don't, you don't care what happens on the Drake. Because the chances of you dying here is really high. Therefore, you can always consider to... Just abandon. Ignore them. Yeah, yeah. And yes, majority of the cases, you have half HP, full HP, help your mana, half your HP. Yeah, I would help my jungle, definitely. I would not let him die. But no, not with one HP and not with one mana. This is a very easy decision going to brush press B. Like yeah. you're like, oh, but maybe I can crit them. Yeah, or you get flash W and you're dead. And also you had no prior on the mid lane. And what's Vladimir going to do against Ari? Yeah, it's like if you can't influence the fight and the ch well, if the chance of you dying there is very high, you never follow. Never. It doesn't yeah, matter what yeah, your mid lane, yeah. support, jungle, unless you have ulti and you can ulti from the blue buff, immediately recall. So this is yeah, a big mistake. Got it. It's a really big mistake. Okay. Okay. Nice accuracy, though. So which which uh, you which game should we go next? Uh, we should look at the uh, uh, the Varus Lux game because I believe her there I played it really good. Yeah, that one. I think I played it really really good. Let's see this one. Okay, okay. Oh, what's up with the quality? It's uh, the default one. Yeah. Okay. 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 So what is your plan here? Here again, uh, I already have the lead by default on the wave because the Samira has no wave clear and Nautilus says again it's melee. True. So I should not touch the wave. Maybe 
one basic okay. and uh, try to zone them as long as uh, I don't get hit by Nautilus Q, perhaps try to tether it so he misses it and then I can go and threaten with my E or basic attack. Okay, okay. so you want to zone them level 1 and you want to make slow pushes. Yeah, yeah. You took exhaust, which is fine for, for Samira. Which game is this? Okay, this one. It's fine for Samira. Yeah. Um, I would personally just go body it anyways, just because it's super short cooldown. Uh, especially because exhaust really works only against Samira. It doesn't work against Malza, not really against Twitch. It works against Twitch. If you're yeah, gonna be in range, right? Twitch. Because if he's gonna yeah. ulti, he's gonna have like 700 range or whatever. Then you have to be like how like Varus and Lux, they'll stay so far away from the fight. So you'll very rarely be able to use exhaust. Exhaust is good only yeah. in like super like there is Samira, but there is also like mid Vs and jungle talon. Okay, if it helps you yeah. in the lane yeah. and in the then I would say that the barrier, even though it's really short cooldown, it's better. And if you can do some research, like three percent of the cases you will see anything else than barrier and plants look just because it's just this good and exhaust is only good yeah. if it helps you both lane and later stages because look yeah and i think maybe you can see yeah you don't even see it here like below okay. yeah it is okay to get exhaust but it's just if you really really have to okay no problem yeah now that i think about it i also have no range to apply it yeah if yeah I that's the range, thing i'm already dead that's the thing yeah. that's the thing yeah Okay, and they have okay. They have no tanks, so you going comet is fine. But that's fine because they don't have tanks, so you can go comet. Let's see what kind of comet you went. Okay, so you just copied the, the room from some website. That's good. Yeah. Okay. That's yeah, fine. I only played the leaning phase good, and after that, I turned my brain off. Let's see. So you yeah, copied that. Dish. So you were in that because I expected them to cheese me in the first bash, if they and also if Nautilus take take a lead over the second bash, I'm going to have a hard time in the lane. Okay, okay. Why is that? Because he had, he can threaten hook. Not level one, but actually, if I think about it right now, it doesn't really make sense. Right, because Samira, if you have yeah. the wave in front of you and this guy is in the brush and you have the wave, like yeah. let's say you have the wave here, if the Nautilus wants to stay in the brush and let's say you have the, like, Samira is going to suffer a lot, like they can't play level 1. Yeah, and yeah, even yeah. if he hooks you, they lose so hard. Maybe she can start E, but it's like Samira and level 3, she's almost useless. Yeah. Like, they will try to chunk you to half HP and then they will die, they'll get chunked so hard. Yeah. Right? And a trade like when they are half HP and you're half HP is always good for you because until level three they won't be able to play against Varus Poke, Lux Poke, and yeah, right. So yeah, I would I would keep it especially because in this lane what's gonna usually happening like what is gonna usually gonna I happen? Need to get gank. Yeah, so gank is one. There is Twitch, so you should anyways word before you get in the lane, like literally. I mean literally here to like one twenty yeah. or whatever when the minions come. If not, then what's going to happen in the lane? Notice going to go in the first brush. Then he, you're going to push him in the second brush and you have to ward in so he can push him in the tower. But if you yeah. put it here and he stays here, then w the Lux needs to also ward. Okay, so who's going to ward on the river? Nobody. That That's the, the, the issue here. Okay. Yeah. Let's see. Okay. Very nice. I'll personally use it here. Right here. How many games do you have on Varus? I don't think I have many. How many? Do you have more I than have five? Around twenty, I think. Okay. You played on hit as well? No, only Lethality. Let's see. I usually like to play with the skin on uh, on AD carries because it just feels a lot smoother and the range is a lot yeah. smoother on most of the AD carries. It's it's nice. Okay. Let's see. So Comet, Mana Flow Band, yeah, and every time when you use your uh, E, it's ideally you have both Mo Comet and Mana Flow Band. Yeah. I don't know if you pay attention to this I, in lane. I picked uh, Comet because I had loops, but if I was, for example, if I had an Otilus, I would pick Hail of Blades. Yeah, it's more about like if you need, uh, if they have tanks, because if you have, let's say, if you have Nautilus and you play Varus, 
and they have let's say twitch okay twitch like if this. they have more than one two tanks i go uh, i would go on hit okay yeah halo blade is not so bad in this meta against tanks there's so much damage in general but it's gonna get nerfed tomorrow so there is that yeah okay what do you think about this max range e? do you think i hit this if i do max range yeah okay what about this one for right sure here? no okay so this one so it's max range like what <laughs> okay i can't s okay on here the edge. right here right okay yeah, on the and edge. then this one is even crazier is like right here yeah. and this one is okay we don't even talk about like this and then this one is like this and you don't know the range of the e oh <laughs> that's how i wanted to show you right and yeah. it's actually even more than yes that. look at this okay let's see okay yeah you see yeah so i have to work on champion mastery yeah look at this okay now we're out of range true yeah okay yeah, what yeah. about the okay so let's see that that is a bit uh not that much let's see okay what do you think do i okay let me just okay here i think you can go near the shadow of the tower and you can hit it here here no 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 a bit a bit a bit out there there okay i hit this one more move more 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 move more 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 at the end of the sh yeah yeah you hit it so i know i hit it yeah okay it's actually even more than that even more than that oh so it's close <laughs> oh. <laughs> Yeah, no mind. I think this doesn't hit. All right, never mind. Oh. <laughs> okay, now we're out of the range. So that's what yeah. I mean. Like here. Like she. Okay, you missed the opening. Oh, okay. No, 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 no. Click here. You see, because the faster yeah. you use the first one, the faster the next one comes. Are you having trouble converting your early game advantages into wins? Feel like your damage output is lower than it should be, and you feel like you're putting in the work, but you're not seeing really the results. My name is Pizai with a track record of coaching over 3,659 players with ranks between Iron and Challenger. Here is what I've accomplished with my clients. Right here you can see Silver 1 to Emerald 4 in one month time with one coaching session. This guy right here got to Grandmaster in NA after when the first coaching session we've done he was hard stuck in diamond 2. Alex right here he was gold for one year and a half ago and he got to grandmaster 800 LPP after the coaching session. Here is his master account after just being a gold player a year and a half ago. This is what the coaching session can do to your game. And here is something that you might find inspiring i've personally climbed from iron to diamond with dealing with 200 ping now i'll actually get mastered here with 200 ping on this account that you're gonna see right now as you can see right here this is emerald one with very decent win rate on some of the champions and i'm playing pretty well in high emerald to low diamond and i actually play ezreal as well as you guys can see right here and i'm not really scared if i can achieve this against high emerald players and low diamonds playing with such a huge handicap 200 ping ezreal imagine what we can accomplish together with you playing under optimal conditions are you ready to see the real progress that you can do go to besides.com and book your coaching session now let's improve and get better together yeah that's nice i don't like your clicks okay why are you clicking back there is no threat here you should click here and i hit the nautilus yeah. go into the brush and then he hit the u and then the senna this is good okay too safe way too safe way 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 too safe like this one technique is bad there is no threat at level one yeah this is fine okay. okay keep staying up there is no reason to hit the minions they will never be able to get prior with 525 yeah. range uh, ADK. stay here stay here stay here anywhere but not clicking back look at this look at this yeah look at your clicks if you stay here there is no threat here the, if the guy hooks you even that's if he good. hooks me you yeah, win. there is no threat you just win straight yeah, straight it. up let's see and then here you're just not pressuring at all like you now you're walking up this is for this is still a bad click you should stay here you should stay here you should like really walk up you auto and then right click back when you can click here and auto like the nautilus yeah okay let's go to uh, let's see playing super safe look at your clicking okay you shouldn't be clicking here just stay behind the minion 
Like you're just so yeah, safe. I think, I think I assumed that uh, maybe Twitch is around. Ah, I see. Okay, so you just thought Twitch. Cause... And I did not uh, go that hard on them. Okay, very late exhaust here. Very late exhaust. Okay, yeah. exhaust now. Because she yeah. literally da done... Okay, well, he's it somewhere. Done, she's, she did the damage, yeah, right. Okay, and then now we just try to zone. This is good. This is very good. Now you're actually pressuring more. And then you just go for the... In this case, I would go for Q. Usually you can go W if you have like an engage support like Blitz, so you can just, you know, stack with the W. But in this case, if you go Q and you go in the brush, they will back off and you can throw Q from the brush. What can they do? Yeah, makes right? sense. It's not bad to go for the W, but it is bad in this case. Yeah, here I thought that Samira is no way going to step up, so I'm just going to hit uh, Nautilus. Okay. But what if you get Q and you go in the brush and you can go max range Q? Or this wave is gonna go in the tower soon. Yeah. This wave is gonna go in the tower, so with anyways you're gonna poke with the E. You're not gonna auto attack really much. Like look, imagine if you had Q here. You would just burn flash or barrier. Yeah. And now you should keep the wave here, you shouldn't push. Because they are screwed. Oh, I always crash the three third wave. So shh. Yeah. Sometimes there are cases where I should, there are exceptions. If I'm Samira right here, and I crash the wave, she gets free farm into the tower. You can pressure her in the tower, but what if you wait your E, you're gonna have it again, wave is here, she has to walk up for these minions, you use one yeah. more E on her, yeah. you poke more, and anyways, it's gonna be crushed anyways, because, well, at some point it will be crushed in like 20 seconds or whatever, and then you poke even more then. Yeah. So you, so you force her. If you think you can kill her in the mm. tower, then I would crush and I would kill her in the tower. Right? In this case, I would make her suffer or burn her alive. I would, I would, so this is yeah. like, she's bleeding right now, if you keep the wave here. My hypothesis is that if they are low, I should always fast push. Yeah, if you can pressure them into the tower, but pressure them with what? You have 12 seconds on your E, you have no Q, you're far from being level 3. So even if you crush I this... I we are double range and we can just auto attack them. Yeah. So what if you don't do that here? Keeping the wave here, you walk up here and you do the same. Yeah, yeah. And if you get ganked here, it's impossible to die. He, if you he get ganked really here, scared about the gank. <laughs> yeah, well, he's actually dead. The Twitch. Yeah, I have a game in the wood where I stacked three waves and I killed a jungler. Yeah, look, he stopped, right? Yeah. So he couldn't really... Okay, yeah, and you could have just poked. Didn't even comment very much on the push. Because and you're playing, hook. you're playing very safe. Like here, Samaira is going to go recall with this playstyle. Look at this. She goes Fog of War. Okay, follow, 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 follow. Maybe she presses B. If he gets, if you get hooked, it's fine. You win. Yeah. Super important. Now you're not following. Look at your clicks. Maybe she recalls. You want to stop a recall here? Yeah, got it. Okay. Push. This hook was so okay. bad. And then now. Hook. Nice. You should wait her to go for minions first before you E. Like, it's very bad to E from this max range when you know that she will get... If she doesn't go for this one, she goes for this one. So I'll actually wait her to go here. Or not, because some people, they woke up, they back off, they dodge your E, and then what are you going to hit? Because you have nothing. Yeah, but there she was, uh, like, pinned uh, near the tower, so... Yeah, but it's look, look really at this. hard to dodge. Look at this, because she goes up and down, right? She's not really pinned. She's yeah. pinned here, but if she stays here, then she can just back off. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Then here is, I hope you're gonna throw Q. Okay, you actually do it from Fog of War. Very nice. Uh, be careful with this play though. Be careful with this play. This is nice because it's Fog of War, but usually majority of the cases going like this will result into you dying. Kha'Zix, yeah. Elise, Jarvan. So it's fine, it's Twitch, he died level 2 on top lane. Maybe you're confident here, but just... Yeah, I knew about Twitch. Because now so, you're like literally going like this, <laughs> right? You're yeah. like asking them to, to kill you here. So here, could he, I have stayed or Insta recall? Okay, Based off what you told me earlier, I have to think if I can Insta push the wave, which I think I can. Let's see. So you you crashed the wave into the tower. You killed her. So what's the, the place? Like what are the alternatives? Or I can reset. Yes. And buy two long swords. Yes. Or I can hard push the wave and uh, 
I don't know if I will get for Serate Dirk. Oh, but I think yeah. I go tier. Yeah, that's to say it's 1,100. Serate Dirk? Yeah. Did they change it? Yes. Oh. I think I know the old price. Oh, yeah, it's 1,000 now. Yes. So, yeah. anyways... So anyways, you want to get, uh, you want to get tier, right? Yeah. So that's like 400 gold. Then you have 350, 350. That's your buy. There is not really much you can do. I guess you can go boots. Um, so you can buy 1100. Do you really need boots here? Um, I mean, it's against Nautilus, so you can, but I would not buy boots. So like now you have 890. Yeah. What should you do right now? I should recall. By tier and boots. But if you push this, don't you have the tier long sword, long sword? I think I do. Yeah. You need to look at how much is a wave. I don't know that. I think it's 142 or something like that. So a non cannon wave is 96, and a cannon wave is a, okay. from 140 to, a, to 200, depending on what stage okay. the cannon is, because the cannon gold scales with. Uh, with the level of champions, right? So, yeah. let's say, if it's a cannon wave, you have now right now 900 plus 150, so you're gonna have 1150, plus the per per uh, overtime gold, so you're gonna have 1200, zero, zero, which is perfect yeah. for the tier longsword longsword, which is 1100 gold. Yeah, if it's a it. non-cannon wave, you're gonna, you have not, right now 900, let's say you're gonna have like 930 only with the overtime gold, Plus a hundred gold, uh, the the non cannon wave one is gonna give you. You're gonna have one zero three zero, so around one zero fifty. So you need to wait fifty gold in base to get the item, which is not worth. I wouldn't wait more than thirty gold, thirty yeah, thirty five yeah. max. So yeah. in this case, if it's a cannon wave, you should stay and you should push because you have the dark in base. If it's not a cannon wave, you should instantly recall. But yeah, but. Samira is dead. So the fact that she's dead, it allows you to push this wave easily, crash the wave into the tower and recall uh, immediately. If, if you didn't recall and she's here, or if she's here, or if she's close, you cannot push her to insta recall. Yeah. Because you would push exactly. and she would stop your recall. So in this specific case, yeah. since we have the dead timer on the table here, three seconds, four seconds, and you have a decent push with Lux Varus, you can in this case. But again, if she would be here, here, if she died like 20 seconds ago, recall, it doesn't matter if you're going to get the extra gold, you're going to get stopped of the recall. So yeah, this one, you didn't probably think about that. And you push this non-cannon wave. Also wasted your biscuit. Yeah, I did not think about it. <laughs> you wasted your biscuit and I hope you're going to recall now. Yes, your jungle is on the river. So it could be a reason why to stay, but not in this case since you have a good power spike. When you recall, please ping your uh, support as well because she didn't know if you want to stay or not. Plus, yeah. even even your body language is like here. I'll walk into the brush out. Press B. You going on the river and like if I'm Lux, I'm like, okay, Varus is going towards the river. He probably wants to word. So if he wants to word, obviously he wants to stay because why would he word yeah. and then recall to waste the time of the word, right? So try to communicate with her. One ping can be enough. Yeah. Two because this. Could be the throw she's level three when samira she has no flash and we have no exhaust so you could throw everything here and the samira was actually slow pushing which is good she wasn't fast pushing like you nice <laughs> like she knew this and now she needs to crash and i hope you're gonna bully her but you can't unfortunately very nice very nice for a I top lane main you play very nice very nice with the camera with the mechanics play jungle and top lane you played eight rocks definitely i didn't expect you to play this well mechanically like with the movement I with actually, the camera i actually thought mechanics are my <laughs> are my weak point well i think it's just the lack of knowledge but i don't think that you can do it if you practice it you will do it so i would say it's more lack of mm, champion identity knowledge yeah okay let's see what i you push remember I remember Curtis talking about champion identity a lot. <laughs> yes, it is a basic. Like you can know a lot of wave management and stuff, but you don't know your champ then. Yeah. 
it's gonna be difficult. Okay. Good, 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 good. Let's see how you play this. So they stay, they woke up, they go to the river. Okay. So we don't know where they are. So what should you do with the next wave? I wanted to hard push it. Where are they? They're in the tree bush. So if so one, do you have enough time to push this? No. Not really. It's a cannon wave, but even if it was a non cannon wave with these items you don't. Plus if they are there, you're gonna start pushing, kill two minions, and then they're gonna come back and say, yeah, Oh, thank you uh, for the freeze. My thought process was that Samira died, so she does not have a big buy in base. So she of course is going to reset and I can push this really fast. But the thing is, you see her right here. If she's gonna reset, you're gonna know now. But you know she look at the Samira right now. She literally yeah. goes and drive. Would you recall here if you're Samira? No. Because if I recall, I would well recall. Like if I'm but in the tower, I'll be here. I'll do this and recall. I was like, okay, I'm gonna recall yeah. here. Really? In in the enemy, maybe this is worth it. It's like really good. But you would be surprised by what happens in Emerald. <laughs> yes. The problem is that even even if like 30 to 40 percent are bad, even 49 percent of players are bad, the more you're gonna go to higher emerald, a lot of players are gonna play it optimally. So you're gonna lose. Yeah. The yeah. the point is you need to just win more than you lose. That's it. Yeah. So if you have a good playstyle where you like assume that they do the right thing, you will win more than you lose. And you're higher your chance. Yeah. Because look at yeah, this. Actually, I see them. And look at this. Like you just screwed up the wave. Plus, using the E on the wave is also really bad. Like you should always try to push with Q. And if you don't have Q, then don't use anything. Just prepare your minions for the Q. Because look at this. You use E. And then now, you didn't push. You only have Q for the fight. It's like really. And then now, you literally gave him a freeze. And God bless the, the Nautilus was trolling really hard here. <laughs> Really, really hard, yeah. You're not really thinking much about the enemy jungle. Look, look at what angle you're playing on. You don't yeah. even have Tribush worded. I did not so care excited. about the enemy jungler here because he was tweak. Yeah, and I had the exhaust. And they were low. That's good, that's good. The so worst case scenario, I kill someone and I die. And it's fine because my wave is already pushed. Let's see. How much do you, how much do you die? Six times per game on Ezreal. Mm. Ezreal is my worst champion. Five, five, four point nine. It is pretty high. You do have decent amount of kills, but it is still pretty high. Five point five. Yeah, actually sometimes I see really, really good engage angles in the team fight. And uh, I, I think it's my top laner instincts or something. Yes, yes, yes. And I just go, and I just go and hit my R with Varus or do something, and I, I just insta die. And I'm like really surprised by that. See, 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 see. Yeah, okay. Just lost the lane face here. Yeah, good luck. Have fun. So, right here, they are low into the tower, you poke them, you word, you're playing weak side, but you don't care about Twitch, I wouldn't even word then. Yeah. You push, which is nice. You don't know where is Nautilus, Samira is in the tower. Okay. If I don't see him for like 10 to 15 seconds, I assume he recalls. Yeah, but it's like, why don't you pressure here? Like, you play so safe. Like here, you saw that, I would be here. Out the here, here, here. Even if he hooks, you win. You have exhaust. Even in the, I li you literally tank two tower shots and you still win with exhaust. Yeah. So I don't know my limits on the champion. Look at this. And look at your clicks. You're like picking back. Stay here. Stop the recall of the guy. Maybe he, she was recalling right there. Like you're not yeah, fishing for yeah. this. Even even now, it's like click here. Act like you want to die for her. Don't die for her. Act. She's gonna click here. And then you try to yeah. charge your Q. And when you Q, you get out of the tower range. But click here. Pressure her. Do something. It's like, oh, I'm gonna yeah. play safe. Even here, even here. You hit it? Okay. No, no. Go here. Attack her one more time. I there is no. I hit Scorch, so I would take like a tower aggro here. The thing is, Scorch is like half a second. Look. Q, you back off. That's fine. Okay, walk up, walk up, walk up. You see the 16 damage Scorch? That's it. Yeah, yeah. Like yeah. you can just walk up right now. Look at look at the, the summer. Yeah. It's see. really fast. It's 
Did you find that he woke up? Stop the recall. She's gonna recall right now. Oh, yeah. I let see. her get away with murder. <laughs> Super important because this champion is very strong. Very, very strong. Well, tomorrow is gonna get weak, but yeah, that's another. Oh. <laughs> what is it today? Yeah, it's uh, yeah, Wednesday. So there is that. So let me see if I can take this game. Oh, I like that you show me examples. Let's see. Okay, yeah, here I start Q. Okay. I think I start Q, yeah, because we, we chunked him. So I want to do this. Okay. But then just look look how I played after. So I played the brush a lot. Like I Q, and I didn't push at all because we have the push. I took the aggro of the minions so I can make the wave to come into me. I go into the brush. And here, look at this. I don't push and I'm queuing you, in the brush. Why did you auto attack the minions? Just so I can take Isn't aggro on it, them. Uh, mm -hmm. Okay. I can auto attack them and I can aggro them so they only focus one minion. And the wave is yeah, gonna yeah, come yeah. Into, into me. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Okay, and then here, I just look to zone. I queue in the brush. They literally don't see it. Look. It's impossible for them to dodge. Look at this. It's impossible for yeah. them to dodge. Yeah. They can't really do anything. And then here, I back off because I, I have no cooldown. I go out of the brush when I last hit, because if I last hit from into the brush, I give they them vision. vision. Yeah. Look at this. Yeah. Auto. Auto. Go in the brush. Auto. Then back off. Dodge that. Go into the brush. Here, look yeah. at my position. Look at my clicks. Look at my clicks. It's it's impossible for Zaya to play now. Yeah. Look from Zaya's perspective. Boom, I cube. Like, look at her. She's like <laughs> typing to the brand that he's bad. And, and then brand walks up, and then now we're level two. Like... There is not much G she can do. Yeah, yeah, I see. So it's like over. And then now, you see, I'm not pushing. Push? I'm not pushing because okay. I can zone. She's she, Look, she wants to get the minions. Because if I push the, the minions, some of the minions are going to be here, the melees. I don't want that. She's going to stay here and last it. I want the wave here. Yeah. And look at me. I only last it. My cooldowns are coming right now. And then now, I wait her to go for a minion. I wait her a lot. And then we just try to punish. Yeah, yeah, I see, I see. Super, super important. So that's how you play lanes like this. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Do we have uh, time for another quick uh, one? Quick, uh, quick game? Uh, like really brief? Which one? Which one would you like? Actually, I think it was the Jin Senna. The... Do you think maybe we should actually look at some mid game as well? Okay. Briefly, because we didn't really see what is going on there. Let's see. Oh yeah, and then here, she recalled, and you know she recalled right here. 700. Zero, zero. So right now she's in base. Okay, so right now she's basically right there. On the inhibitor. Yeah. So you take the plate, this is fine because you have a cannon wave and the plate is half HP. But after you take the plate right here, the Senna is actually oh sorry, the Samira is right here. So you need to recall. If you if you try to stay for one more plate or one more wave, what's gonna happen? Mm, then? I'm going to be in trouble. Yeah, because she will stop your recall or they will just fight you. So now yeah, this is yeah. really bad decision. Look at this. Very, very bad. Now she's here. What does it mean? That means you're never gonna recall. What does it mean? That means if they hit the hook, they can win. Look, now you wanna recall and you're like, oh shit, but they can push. Well yeah. Yeah, and I see with you. Now we got lucky that we did his bot lane. We got really lucky. Because here you're deciding to go for a for another another play. Actually here, here, uh, like a few seconds forward, I saw with your coming bot, and I think the right play would be I don't think the right play would be to recall. I think the right play would be to ping the dragon because this dragon is really, really nice in the early game. The problem is that the it's Samira is really angle. close and if they contest there, you don't know where is the jungle and you force 3v3. Samira is more useful than you because she recalled. Yeah, but they have Twitch jungle and he's not level 6, I assume. Well, you assume. How do you know this? Because I'm level 5. Okay, so if the Twitch is level and, 5... And uh, he, Twitch died like two times. He died one top and he died uh, when Woodyr go, got into his jungle, I think. Okay, but what about the priority mid lane? What about Nautilus flashing on you? Because it's Samira Nautilus at the end of the day. Even though you have exhaust. 
the drake is going to hit you plus they have items so anyways yeah. you're making a decision that is like okay i'm going to ping my jungle and he will do drake really how much gold does Udir have did he recall did he do grabs do you like you need to be aware of these things before you make a call like this because if you just yeah, make it yeah, then he will not think. if he has 2k gold right now and my virus is pinging drake if i go drake and i die he's he's gonna flame you 100 percent yeah so you have yeah, to be very similar. careful with this decision because the decision has to be made so samaira recall she's she's right now at the nexus tower now she just yeah, passed the first tower like you now you make the decision now you don't know the wood if he's gonna pet like this yeah so i see be very careful this this is uh, definitely something that can hold you back and then this worked you stayed very nice very good mechanics, very good cues. Very nice, very, very nice. Wait, where did my W and Q reset? Here, I... Okay. And now I have it again. Because you use, every time when you use your WQ on a target that you have the okay. passive, the, the Q cooldown decreases. Oh, yeah. Right? Yeah, yeah, and see, especially because see. here you do have uh, actually three stacks on the Nautilus and the passive goes on the Tamira as well. You have six six yeah, passive stacks. Yeah, yeah. Then you double the Q resets and you have one more. Yeah, I see. I see. <laughs> That's why. No I, was, I wasn't aware of that. No problem. No problem. We're going to play, I think, after 20 games of Varus. should be fine. Yeah. I'm actually doing the same mistake here. Like here, you shouldn't stay. Look, because now, okay, let's see this. So you kill them. Yeah, I got big buy in base if I go. This is good that you push. Samara is right there. Like now, Nautilus is on his this way. Is bad. Like you, this wave is really good. It's pushing into you. Yeah, yeah. it's really good. So if you really need the yeah. money and let's say you need two hundred gold, then sure, I would push this. But otherwise, it's just waste of time because Nautilus is coming. So after you push this, yeah, it looks like I'm uh, breaking my tempo here. He can stop your recall again. Yeah. And then it's like, okay, but at least I got the item. Okay. Yeah, you got the extra wave, and yeah, you just kept I'm your money. Tempo. But you kept your money in your pocket. You didn't even do anything with the money. Yeah. So this is why it's bad because if you actually do something, let's say you play for opportunity or whatever, it can be fine. Using tempo like this is fine in solo queue to get an item, but he didn't. Didn't do that. Okay, I want to see a bit of the mid game. How do you play mid game? When do you group? After I uh, usually in the mid game, I after I take the tower, or if I if I'm really ahead, like ten zero or something, I just go mid. I push the wave, and then I hover either top side or bot side. How do you and hover? Uh, try to be? Pre I I push the wave. I look if the next wave is near or not, and then I just pat uh, where it's more likely. To for a fight to break out. I, I don't think I do it this game, but this is how I would do it in a perfect game. Yeah, and who do you play around? You play around bot and top, but what does it mean? Uh, that means I just push the wave, I look the map, I see what's going on, and then I, I just pat there, I just go, I just click and go there. So you should play around the CC, uh, the CC threat of your team, which is usually jungle or support. But you usually don't play around top laners, split pushers, you know, now you have Volibear, so it would be... Majority of the cases, if Udir is not there and you're getting Volibear and you play against, like, Ilaoi, you're probably gonna go and die with them. So, yeah. Okay, alright, good. So today we actually focused really hard on the laning phase, we analyzed multiple matchups, we saw some different patterns. So let's make a list with the... Is it, do you have any any questions about this this game or the game that we, we looked at? No, I don't have any question about them. You made it really clear what's going on. But I have a question about freezing on bot lane. When should I freeze? What is a freeze? Should, uh, when I have like a 4 minions advantage. And I usually, on top lane, I would freeze like if I had a really big lead. And I'm trying to kill the enemy. Like zoning them, denying him XP and uh, gold. And uh, yeah, if I get a lead, I just freeze and kill it, kill him. On bot lane, I assume that I should freeze if I have like a hard engage, like Alistar, Nautilus, Blitzcrank, 
and uh, I somehow I managed to crash the third wave into tower, and then it bounces back, and then uh, they are let's say they are low, and I just freeze to deny them uh, gold, mm -hmm. and uh, maybe Blitz managed to hook or Alistar engages or yeah, you you know what I mean. So if you have a freeze under your tower, in majority of the cases it it is super safe for you, you're not gonna get ganked, they can't go on you, uh, your support, I mean, they all have more minions right here, so your support can necessarily poke, they all have more, more minions here, so your support can necessarily all in, so in terms of going in, it's not ideal, but it will, it will make them supposed to, like, exposed to a gank, and it will make them overextended, so you should always freeze, unless, unless, there is something on the river that you want to attend to your jungle committed to a fight or to a yeah, trade course, you can course. always break the freeze or if they are low you can freeze that's good you know you can pressure them but if the chances yeah. of you know getting plates and pressuring them into the tower while getting the tower is high and the low of getting ganked or getting the, uh, killed is high, low you should break that freeze and make it into a slow push because with a slow push you can break them kill them poke them and get the tower with the freeze, you can only poke them, but yeah, not get the tower. I see, I see. So if you need to go on the river, break the freeze. Don't re like if there's like a urgent situation where Drake or fight is there. Two, um, if you really need to recall, then you can break the freeze, or you can even recall on a freeze, depending on how close the enemy carry is to crash the wave. So recall on a freeze or stay in a freeze, depending on the situation. Uh, so if you need the recall. If you need to be on the river, or you need to be on the map, or there is simply no no way you're gonna die and they are low and you can pressure the tower or even get kills by accelerating, it's better to go from a freeze to a slow push. Because if they are 0 3, it would be very dumb to freeze here. I'll make a slow push, yeah. may have three waves, play for the tower, accelerate the game, and play like a human. That's why top laner mains, yeah. they do the same thing. If you're 0 3, like if they, they are 0 3, this guy is 0 3. I'm not freezing here, I'm transforming this into a slow push so I can dive him, I can get his tower. If I stay here and he's 0-3 and he has 50 farm in 20 minutes or he has 80 farm in 20 minutes, he's still useless. He's still 0-3, so I want to get his tower. Yeah, I see, I see. Got it.